here to talk about his 3-0 and Greyhounds as the head coach of the San Benito Greyhounds. It is Coach Dan Gomez. Coach Gomez, how are you? Yeah, I'm doing fine. How about you? How are things in beautiful San Benito? Yeah, they're going well. You know, just uh, keeping the nose down to the ground and grinding things out. You guys are off to a to a hot start and in, in a couple of really uh, imp- a r- couple of really impressive wins, including last week's win over McAllen Memorial. So far, uh, has there been anything about your team that surprised you? Uh, not really. You know, we, we've we put in the work since we arrived here two seasons ago, and you know everything's just coming into into full full circle with with the kids understanding our program now and understanding the uh, scheme of the uh, defense and offense and, and being able to, um, to execute those things. One of the guys who's taken center stage for your team this year is your, your junior quarterback, Eric Retta, uh, already thrown for uh, nine touchdowns, 738 <clears throat> yards. Uh, just a junior. I know he got a little bit of play last year, uh, kind of in, in, in mop-up duty as a sophomore uh, what about uh, Eric has has really stood out to you this year? Well, I think it's everything that he's doing is well expected. He's a smart individual who understands the offense. Has been in the system for three years. He was our our JV quarterback as a freshman, and then of course our backup last season. So um, he really has a good and well understanding of what we're trying to do with our offense, both run wise and pass wise. So um, what he's doing is are things that we expected him to do. And the other part of this, offensively, is that you guys brought back just one starter. You guys were more or less starting from scratch offensively. Has the offense, especially early in the season, has it come together quicker than you thought it would? Uh, it, yeah, you know, it's moving along. We, we, we practice um, every day against our defense. Uh, we, we don't uh, go up against our JV. Uh, and I think that's why we're at where we're at with our offense because we do have a pretty good defense, a very fast and physical defense. And our program is, uh, you know, the staple of our program is physicality. So I believe the uh, the look that we get every day from our defense has definitely speeded up the uh, learning process with our young offense. Uh, you mentioned young offense. It's not just that they haven't started before. It's almost entirely... <laughs> Underclassmen, the guys who are doing a lot of what you're doing. Eric Retto, we mentioned, is a junior. Tyrone Harper, uh, uh, your, your your leading running back, is is a junior as well. Your your yeah. t- top receiver, Isaiah Trevino. I mean, do you guys have any seniors? <laughs> <laughs> we, we we have some. <laughs> uh, the ones we do have, though, they're, they're quality quality guys. Um, it just so happens that there's a couple of them a little bit more on defense than there is on offense. And speak- uh, we do have. One senior on offense that's our, our team captain and, and our team leader, um, and a great individual, and I believe he's a big, a big reason why our offense does do so well because of his leadership and his work ethic that he uh, bleeds on to everybody else. The other part of this, uh, you mentioned the defense. This is a, a defense that has really shined this year early, especially against some, some relatively high-powered offenses. You guys have been able to go in there, and, and yeah, you're, you're putting, up, uh, putting up big points, but the defense has been really, really strong. What's been the key to your success defensively so far? Uh, it's been our, our coaching staff in general, uh, along with our, our two returning inside linebackers who, who lead that defense with, with a lot of pride and very uh, smart individuals who are three-year starters for us. So, you know, they are coaches on the field. They understand what offense are trying to do to us, and they get everybody in, in the right positions to be successful. Yeah, this we're talking with Dan Gomez, the head coach of the San Benito Greyhounds here on DCTF Live. Get involved in the conversation at hashtag DCTF Live. And, Coach, you're now on your bye week as you guys prepare for a, a district opener uh, against Los Fresnos. What uh, what are you trying to accomplish during this bye week to prepare you for district play? Well, we, <clears throat> we're we working probably the hardest part of the year of, of the season during our open week. Mm-hmm. People like to uh, pull back a little bit. You know, we did – give the boys a, a day off so they could catch up on some some academics. But, uh, you know, we got back on the field real soon and, and just really stressed to them that this was going to be our hardest working part of our season. So uh, we um, hit up the details of our game and what we do and making sure that, you know, we tighten the, tighten the screws on the ship so we can keep on moving forward. 
You guys, uh, are, the UIL did not do you guys any favor putting you in, in District 32 6A. Uh, you're in there, uh, Los Fresnos, Harlingen South. Uh, you know, West the West Laco schools, Harlingen, of course, always very dangerous. Yeah. When you look at District Thirty Two Six A, how do you how do you feel like uh, how do you feel like it stacks up? Well, it's it's uh, one of the toughest districts, and I think if you look ahead, it's not going to be very good for you. So we just we just take it one game at a time, and it, it takes everything that we have each week in order to uh, give ourselves an opportunity on a Friday. Uh, especially going into the uh, into the schedule we're about to go into, so just just focus on one game out a week and focus on ourselves and uh, you know going out there and, and doing the best that we possibly can. You're entering your third year down there at at San Benito. How have you maybe seen this program change since maybe you first arrived and, and took over the the job? Well, we we got in two seasons ago and we could see that that <clears throat> the pride factor was was not as as bold as it, as it should have been. And now we see the kids walking a little taller and, and being a lot more, <clears throat> a lot more prideful about the program that they're in and, uh, you know, bringing in just a, just a, a very physical aspect of what we do is, uh, is, is what I believe is, is what's helping us, uh, you know, be a lot better than what we used to be. We're talking with Dan Gomez, the head coach of the San Benito Greyhounds here on DCTF Live. Get involved with the conversation at hashtag DCTF Live. And, Coach, I know you guys are already hard at work looking ahead to, to Los Fresnos, a squad that's uh, that started off hot as well. They've got a, a pretty solid quarterback in Mark Mata as well. Uh, not going to ask you to give away your game plan, but uh, when you look ahead uh, at, at Los Fresnos, uh, what do you see in your next opponent? Uh, I see a very good ball club with a, a dangerous athlete at quarterback. Mm-hmm. And a very experienced defense, and um, you know they, they play very sound football. So that's that's what we see when we when we look at uh, any film on those on those guys, and we get an opportunity to to watch them play this Friday <clears throat> against a team that we just played last Friday. So um, we will definitely have a, a bigger picture and a brighter picture, a more sharper image of what we want to do next week. Uh, after this Friday. And of course, you guys are down uh, in, in the Rio Grande Valley. We talk so much on this show uh, about areas of the state that maybe don't get the, the statewide love that they deserve. For you, as a guy who's, who's ingrained in it, uh, what makes Valley football uh, special? What, uh, what, what about Valley football do you think that people outside uh, of, of the Rio Grande Valley who are listening uh, should know? Well, I, I, I was the head coach over in San Antonio for a couple of years before I came down back down to the Valley and I did, um, was the offensive coordinator over in Mejia up North near Dallas. So I have been out and I've experienced, uh, coaching with different, different staffs. I've experienced, uh, you know, different, different kids, different programs. And there, there's a lot more that goes into a Friday night down here in the Rio Grande Valley than, than a lot of places. You know, there's not very many things to do down here. So people do and have a lot of, a lot of pride when it comes to their football. Uh, Friday nights down here is is really a, a lot more than where I've seen in other places. People come out and they enjoy it. They tailgate. You know, the stadiums get packed, and there are some beautiful venues down here in the Rio Grande Valley, very large venues, mm-hmm. and, and they get filled up. And the, the one thing that I can tell you about the coaches down here, they work their tails off from the details of the game, and the kids down here work as hard as anybody that I've ever been around. Because they they really enjoy to um, to to please the coaches, and and they they really want to good, be good football players, and they know they're behind, uh, you know, they're behind when it comes to the speed that uh, teams from up north have. So they they work twice as hard, and, and they do a really good job of of uh, doing what you ask them to do. He is the head coach of the 3-0 and San Benito Greyhounds, Coach Dan Gomez. Coach, appreciate your time. Uh, congratulations on your hot start. Uh, best of luck uh, next week, and enjoy your bye week. I appreciate it. Thank you very much.